Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, someone sent me this message from our Frugal News, and I guess it came out about eight hours ago. And approximately about five hours ago, I was literally in New Hampshire, and I just I felt really strange. I had no idea what was going on. I felt like I was heavily psychically attacked. And I just couldn't put my finger on it. It was a very odd feeling. I felt really uncomfortable. And there was what I felt like was an influx of uh, Draco energy, very strong and highly aggressive, sarcastic. And I, I didn't know. I mean, the prior to that, there's, there's been nothing but huge uh, uh, presence of, of grays, uh, tall grays. And so, you know, this weekend has just been overwhelming for me. A lot of people contacting me about problems, uh, seeing grays, um, having uh, their space. It feels like their space are being, is being invaded. Uh, there are people that, you know, there were attempts of um, hijacking and abductions and so forth. So this has been quite a weekend. I know I haven't done a transmission, but honestly, the, this stuff, I think, is... is um, not, not to say that the transmissions will probably give me more insight, but I do know that I'm just trying to keep up with everything here. So uh, when someone sent me this information from our Fugle News, I said that that makes sense because I was in New Hampshire today when all of this this uh, heavy psychic attack occurred. And I don't have any proof or validation on any of this stuff, but maybe we'll have to watch the news. According to what he says that there was a Russian submarine off of the East Coast, and this has happened before, I've seen them here before. And also, um, there, what he said is that the, there were about 14 um, people inside of that submarine that got poisoned, and they were Russian. So I don't know, something about uh, Putin uh, got a call back to the Kremlin, and then Pence was heading to New Hampshire, and then he was, was called back to the White House, but I guess, um, you know, that's that's the story that they're saying right now. I know that I, I just felt like there was uh, definitely something going on. There's definitely something going on this weekend. Um, uh, a bunch of us did uh, quite a bit of work to try to neutralize whatever's going on. I feel like I've been going around and putting up fires. And anyhow, uh, everyone set an intention, whatever it is that they're trying to do, we're going to stay strong. Um, the highest intention for humanity, I'm not one that's into uh, any type of fear tactics or fatalism or, you know, uh, I don't agree or consent to any apocalyptic events. But I also say that we don't put our heads in the sand either. And so we're just going to uh, remain vigilant. And holding the intention to hold back, create a strong border uh, on the East Coast as well as West Coast and any of the borders of this continent that uh, could create a problem, whatever it is, misunderstanding, conflict, whoever's trying to potentially create um, a reaction, a spontaneous reaction uh, of any sort. So we want to negate any of that and uh, let's... Let's uh, join together with intention. This uh, intention is powerful. So uh, thank you for listening. And if anything else comes up or people know anything about it, you know, especially those of you that have military connections, if you can validate any of it, that'd be great. Remember, we're all doing this together. All I know is I, I just feel like I need to reach out and ask others to um, um, use their energy to assist in creating a neutral and safe environment for everyone. Thanks again, and thanks for listening.